I was, I was, I've always been skinny all my life, but people told me I could eat, oh, have some more, and so I did. But I had a very fast system. The main issue that I had was prostate issues, and I took that on from dad and grandpa, and I had cousins and stuff like that, so it's in the family, and so the mental belief I took on that I was going to have prostate issues as well, and I did. So dealt with it for over 20 years, very painful. I knew I didn't want to go to doctors because I didn't want pharmaceuticals and all that stuff, but I didn't simply just didn't know what food could do for me. Um, did you? Did, can you share what some of your symptoms were? Oh my gosh! Well, the extreme pain while urinating, burning. I'm talking out of ten, I was in eights and nines all the time for the last decade at least. A decade of of extreme pain, urinating, wow. very frequently, burning, and then when I was done, it wasn't done. It still, you know, wet my leg later as I was walking away, which was just frustrating, embarrassing, and it was horrible. Jump to low vitality overall i didn't have any energy right. uh, i had brain fog yeah um, wasn't lacked alertness oh it was, by the end of it it was terrible i remember when terrible. we first got together which was about seven or eight years ago and you were seven years ago maybe and you were tired a lot we'd go for a walk through town and you'd just say man i don't even know if i can do this and i'd say come on just put one foot in front of the other and we changed that your diet so bad Changed my diet, that changed my food intake as soon food as intake. we met. I don't like to call it and, diet. And went vegetarian, and I loved it. I loved not eating meat. I loved not killing anything to eat, uh, and or anything that had a face anyway. And and I really really enjoyed it. You taught me how to eat. You said that uh, you were not going to be the one to prepare food, and so uh, I already had a few. Uh, I knew how to cook, so that wasn't, it was okay for me to do that. So it worked out well. But the point was that the, the prostate issue, which was my main canary in the, in the cave or in the, in, the, in the mine, was that the prostate was still, it would, it would improve, but then it would get worse again, remember? And it was just frustrating. I That's mean, right. After five years, I remember you saying, you know, you should be better. Right. right now we're we're feeding you the right stuff we're getting you know we had our juice in the morning i guess we could talk about our our daily routine at, on another uh section but um yeah, i wasn't getting better and that was worrying um so i had my own stress level going with that and, right. and that was the 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 main beginning so i came from from processed and alcohol and you know, beer and things. I wasn't an alcoholic. I didn't have those kind of issues, but they were part of my life. They were part of my weekend. And tell See? just a little bit about your processed foods, like Special K processed or foods. I don't know what. Oh my gosh, that was the the king of the cake on that one. I <laughs> ate Special K for breakfast every day for ten years. Wow. Special wow. K with milk, and, and you drank was, milk. With milk and and. I had heartburn. Heartburn was one of my big issues. Uh, bubbling gastric stuff. Um, <laughs> reflux. Uh, it was wow. awful. Yeah. There was a time where I couldn't even drink milk anymore because of the constant reflux and the pain in my tummy. And wow. so I was drinking water. And then the water, then the water was, was hurting my stomach too. So I was a mess. Right. I was a very big mess. By the time you and I got together, um, I was... I had one foot on the other side. I was on the way out. If right. I had continued eating like that, I wouldn't have made it another five years. I yeah. know that. I just, yeah. in my knower, I know that. In my knower. Yeah, that's right. That's great. Right. So, um, yeah. So what was the transition like? Like, first of all, coming to become vegetarian and eat more healthy foods. What did that do for you? And what was that like? And what were you kind of going to? Um, I have to point out that the natural path is a gentle path. I was expecting rapid turnaround and it just didn't work that way. And so it is a gentle path. It takes its time, but it's solid. It's a better, it's a better way of going rather than the up and down. I don't want to, I'll throw in a, a future cache about the, the sugar burning up and downs of energy that I was experiencing under the carbs. But I, that's, a, that's a little drop of the future. But the natural path, the vegetarian path, is very gentle, it's very kind. And I learned how to be nice to myself and kind to myself. Because uh, I was one of those that 
if uh, if a lot is good, then more is better. And uh, and I learned through your teachings that that's not the case. I need to learn how to do what's right and leave it at that, and and not have this idea of trying to overdo it and get better and double the amounts of whatever it is, supplements, uh, powders, anything. And I learned that that's just not a wise way of living. So yeah, it's been a really exciting journey and um, kind of like tracing it back to really that many years ago. And you were eating pretty large amounts of food really on the vegan vegetarian style. You were still eating eggs. Um, I think some cheese we were, I don't remember. Um, it was rice and beans and vegetables. Not much dairy, no. no Not I much dairy. I cut out dairy as well. Very little dairy. The tortillas, the chips, the flour. Right, the, right. All of that rice, huge amounts of rice, beans, all that. Potatoes, right. large heapings of potatoes in all kinds of ways. I remember we baked the potatoes to the french fries and number all the time. Yeah. So a lot of potatoes. Yeah. A lot of we were we definitely had a lot of carbs in our diet and which i think is it or in our life which i think is kind of it tends to be a norm for a vegan or vegetarian as well uh looking at this we're gonna we're gonna look at the long spectrum of this and come back to it i believe it is possible to go keto and to do it as a vegan vegetarian for me after all these years and I've really been pretty healthy. I mean, I think I'm stronger, more fit, more well than most people my age and even 10 or 20 years younger, um, which anybody who knows me is kind of aware of. I began getting, my mom passed away about a year ago at 94 and, and my grandma had, was also long lived. So I have that in my genes, which is nice. But, Come from um, good stock. Yeah, good stock, like like long lived, which is really nice and it's helpful, but we still have to take care of ourselves. I always used to say my, my mom was driving a Rolls Royce, but she didn't really take care of it that well. And so my whole life has been committed to food that's healthy for my body, to being on a spiritual path, to being aware and present and accounted for. But my mom had something called peripheral neuropathy, which is numbness on the feet, numbness on the bottom of the feet. And I believe it can also happen in hands. It can be a B1 deficiency, but it is also a symptom of being pre-diabetic. I actually started getting numbness on the bottom of my feet probably a year ago. And what was interesting was a year ago, I was making water kefir and kombucha and both of those had raw sugar in them so even though you kind of think that the the carbonation or the fermenting of the kombucha and the they're they're really great probiotics but i was drinking enough of them that i was getting too much sugar in my system yeah i would say you were drinking so much of them it was it was a lot it could have been sips here and there, but then they're so good, it's hard to just have a, a few sips, you know. <laughs> That's so true, it's almost like in the heat. So there's other ways now that we do our probiotics that don't have sugar in them. That was really a concern to me. And then I also had kind of chronic cystitis in my bladder. So my bladder was kind of like uncomfortable. Not anything, like not, not an infection, but just uncomfortable. So yeah, you're, coming, you're coming from a long, long time of vegan, vegetarian, raw, all this, uh, I was coming from processed. So mine was right. a lot, lot, yeah. lot more ag aggravated or aggressive. Right. So the prostate, the pain, the low vitality, brain fog. Right. Uh, hard for me to think. I couldn't think of anything new. People would say hi to me and I could say that, but then I would even ask my mind to tell me something, to have a conversation and nothing would come. It was so frustrating. And that's amazing because you're, you're such an intelligent so, person. Yeah. So creativity was low. Uh, all that was just right. very frustrating. It was a frustrating way of living. Didn't like it at all. Uh, big difference to now. So the thing that's really amazing is, you know, for the average person, the average person just says, oh, this is just the deterioration of age. But that's not how I live. I believe the body is a self-healing mechanism. I believe that I need to change my habits if my body isn't serving me well. 
painlessly, being pain-free, being fit, feeling good, having energy, having a clear mind. If we're missing those things, there's something not right with that picture. And if we change, if we, if we're willing to change, if we're willing to change what got us there in the first place, right? One of your favorite there sayings. You go. Hippocrates. Mm -hmm. Then we can correct those things. And I'm curious. Um, before, when you were having the um, pain, painful urination that you knew um, was some kind of prostatitis, you had also been to the doctor for a checkup, right? Mm hmm And what had they told you? I'm going back to where the first time I, uh, and it was a, 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 a buddy of mine that, that talked me into going, because uh, I didn't want to go. I just didn't want to do doctors at all. It's a strange mindset. It was enlarged. It was not uh, cancerous, whatever those terms are, but that it was, it was enlarged. When they first did the test, the, the PSA was over four, I think it was like six, but then he gave me two weeks of uh, antibiotics. Bi uh, antibiotics, thank you. Yeah. Of antibiotics, and then we went back in, and then it was under four. So he was like, "Get out of here." But I knew it, I wasn't well. Now I want to fast forward to now, as I'm looking back, and from the brain fog, the low vitality levels, the pain. There's more than just the physical body, because I was I, I was talking to myself bad, and these are from my, old, my whole life, from things I picked up since I was a kid. My mental body was not healthy. My emotional body was not healthy. I was used to being depressed. I was used to being sad. I was used to being quiet. I was used to being withdrawn. So these, there's more bodies than just the physical body. So what right. am I feeding my, my physical body is one thing. What am I feeding my mental body? What am I feeding my emotional body? These right. are big lessons that I've picked up. These are my takeaways on this journey that I've had from being here. Right. And, and those your vortex, your yeah. energy field. We speak kindly to each other. We speak kindly to ourselves. Yes. We feel happy. We're in bliss. This is our purpose and our job is to be in bliss. And look at the difference of that self-talk of yes. I love me, I'm kind to me, I'm gonna be just right with me and 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 I'm gonna feel good, I'm gonna feel happy. And catching when I'm not is a whole nother thing too, which took, which I'm still doing. It's it's a journey. Uh, I can't say that I'm there, but I will say that I'm much better than yes. I was. Yes, yes. And all those things you described that were, you know, personality issues or discomforts mentally and emotionally, those aren't even really who you are. I mean, you're this bright, cheerful, beautiful, very awake, present person. So, um, and and of course, I learned in my life to put a mask on and cover that up right and say i'm fine i'm right. happy i'm great how are you uh and inside i'm i'm depressed and i'm sad and i'm you know having mental bad talk to myself forget that right yeah i'd rather be in bliss and be joyful truly really? truly speak my truth and truly be myself and i'm okay as i am there's you know throw perfection word out I don't use it anymore because we're not after that. We're after being original. We're after being authentic. I'm after being me and I like me and I'm okay with that. That's great. And so really everything that we've started doing, um, do we want to get into right now how we decided to make this leap into keto? And then we'll do some other shows and kind of follow up and talk about more about what the journey has been like. Let's do some other shows. Yeah. Let's, let's call it good for today. So we can wrap down, wrap, wrap up. Wrap okay. Down. So this is a starter. We want to share with you guys the, our keto journey, which is this journey that we're on. We're going to call it the keto quest. It's really amazingly wonderful change in our lives. And we're both really excited about it. And we're going to be, we, we want you to have the opportunity to consider this for yourself. So that's why we're sharing what's been going on for us. It's been profound, sure. created profound changes. I would call this the, why did we get into keto? Yeah. You know, why would we go from vegetarian to keto? And right. my, my sneak peek answer is because my prostate was still getting worse. Yeah. And I'll throw in a little piece of it was that even after surgery, a year after surgery, a prostate surgery, and then I started peeing like a little kid and I was outside peeing on the plants because I was so happy, the symptoms started returning. And that was like this drainer on me. Oh my gosh. 
that's that's a cliffhanger for next time. Yes. What ha- that why we got into keto. So this is Carrie Kira Star Ellis with 21st Century Superhuman, and we're happy that you joined us here. You can check out our website, 21stCenturySuperhuman.com, and we will see you in the next video. We're actually starting to call these podcasts on YouTube. So let's see what happens next, okay? Look forward to seeing you in the next episode. If you're feeling kind of down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are Whoa now child, please don't frown You can choose a new vibration and these words can take you far I am a 21st century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside 21st century superhuman now, now, now is the time.